Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to install Ginimotion on Ubuntu and its base distribution like Linux Mint, Elementary, Pop OS, Zorin, and so on. Ginimotion is a popular cross-platform Android emulator. It runs on Linux, Mac OS, and Microsoft Windows. Ginimotion is a great tool to install or play your Android games on Ubuntu. For developers and QA engineers, it can be used for test their applications. Anyway, big thanks to the Open Gaps team, because as a version 2.10 and higher, Ginimotion comes with a one-click installer for Google applications. Installing Ginimotion is not hard. But first of all, please make sure your computer meets the system requirements. For your information, this Android emulator is not available in the Ubuntu repository. So let's start by grabbing the installer from its official website. Once downloaded, open your favorite file manager and locate the downloaded package. Ginimotion uses virtualization technology to make every Android devices. In this case, we need to install VirtualBox. It's available in Multiverse repository, so we can easily install it using the APT. Run sudo add apt repository multiverse. This will enable supported software that restricted by copyright or legal issues. Wait until package information from all configured sources are downloaded. Now install the Oracle VirtualBox using sudo apt install virtualbox. The advanced package tool will grab the packages automatically. Next, type chmod plus x followed by the name of ginimotion.bin that downloaded earlier. Now we can install it by running this command. Press Y, and then enter to continue. Anyway, I use sudo, because I want install it in opt folder. Finally, Ginimotion is installed on our system. So, let's open it. As you can see, we need an account to use Ginimotion. Click create an account button or sign in if you have one. Don't worry, they won't spam your email.
Okay, now back to the Jin Emotion and login using the registered account. Choose personal use. Click next button. Give a check I have read and accept the end user license agreement. And click the final next button. Finally, we reach the main dashboard. Okay, before I create a virtual device, I want to disable Ginemotion to collect my data. Hit the plus icon. Then customize it as your needs. So, that's all I can share to install Ginemotion in Ubuntu. Thanks for watching, don't forget to share, subscribe, and click thumb up if you like this video.